Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here on a Piney Podcast. Uh, we'll get to uh, Amy Kennedy here and her decisive win in the New-, New Jersey Democratic primary in a minute. But first, your beer virus update. Um, geez, I already forgot the numbers already. Well, let's just look them up real quick. I think it was about 300 today, something like that. Uh, where the heck was it? Where the heck was it? I think it was this one. Yeah. Murphy's going to be requiring mask, by the way. New outdoor mask rule. Because that makes sense. He said sarcastically. Oh, here we go. Uh, what were the numbers? 335 new positive cases. 53 deaths. Blah, blah, blah. Um, New Jersey now has reported 15,000 known deaths related to co- beer virus, 13,000 and some lab confirmed, and 1,900 probable now, with uh, 174,000 known cases, blah, 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 since March 4th. Uh, all the numbers keep going down except transmission rates, which again, you know, Murphy is obsessed with the one number that's going up. Because he needs to keep making rules. And his new rule is you have to wear a mask outside when you can't social distance from a group of people. You know, it sounds like a common sense rule, but it's totally unenforceable. How are you going to enforceable enforce it? Right? You know, are cops gonna run around and go, hey, you don't have a mask on? Oh, well, I didn't realize I was six feet I wasn't six feet away. I think I was. Oh no, you were only five feet. We're gonna give you a fine. That's all it is. That's all it's going to turn into. It's going to turn into policing people for not wearing a mask outside. (laughs) Outside, if you can imagine. Uh, It's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. It's also another way to police gatherings, to go after people who are, you know, God forbid we have a concert or uh, people go on the beach. Murphy is drunk with power. He really is. He's really a tyrant. He's really tyrant Phil Murphy of Goldman Sachs. Um, this is an unenforceable thing. You, you, you're wasting cops' time. Oh, and uh, I don't know if I told you yesterday, all the gyms are getting together and suing the state, everyone. They're suing the state, and they're going to win because Phil Murphy doesn't have the authority to do this. Oh, but don't worry. He'll never pay for it. He'll get to keep his three mansions in three countries and all his Goldman Sachs money. He won't have to pay a dime. In fact, we'll pay him for screwing it all up. In fact, we pay him to do all this idiocy. We pay him to break the law on a regular basis by decreeing the royal decrees of Phil Murphy. Uh, The only other news in South Jersey, Pineys, is this Amy Kennedy. Now, I have been seeing, this is Insider New Jersey, by the way, I have been seeing press release after press release after press release about Amy Kennedy. Oh, she's so progressive. Vote for Amy. And uh, she won. Uh, I think this is a case of sort of a kind of a mini, mini AOC kind of push. (laughs) Amy ran a positive campaign focused on serving her community and changing the way politics works in South Jersey. Uh, Amy put forth bold, specific ideas outlining how she will fight for the issues of the people of South Jersey care about, including rebuilding the economy, access to affordable health care, protecting our workers, and fighting for equality and justice. In other words, she's super woke. And the regular Democrat got primaried right out of there. So uh, here we are with another, and like every media outlet in South Jersey was pushing this woman as hard as they could. Hard as they could. So she's super woke and she's running against uh, Van Drew. And I hope Van Drew crushes her. I hope he just crushes her. Van Drew has to win. Um, Don't let Amy Kennedy turn it blue because it's not going to be blue. That's not the kind of blue you actually want this isn't regular democrat blue this is marxist blue now she's not making a lot of marxist noise now oh but she will she will 
Equality and justice. Equality and justice, everyone. Yeah. That's the code words. Progressive Democrats, equality and justice. And Governor Murphy backs her, so there you go. Governor Murphy said, tonight South Jersey sent a strong message that standing for principle matters. Oh yeah, Phil Murphy stands for principle, except the Constitution, which he routinely ignores with his royal decrees. And that independence, integrity, and answering to the people you represent matters. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah you really answered to the people, Phil, the way you answered those... Uh, those guys in the gym who you called knuckleheads for trying to open, the people who protested uh, the lockdowns. Oh, but you were okay with BLM. In fact, you marched with them. And in fact, you know, when you were telling people, don't go inside a restaurant, we're not going to open the inside of the restaurant. Oh, there's a picture of you in a restaurant. Isn't that something? Isn't that something that you can go into a restaurant and the rest of us can't? Isn't that something? Phil is done. Anybody connected to Phil also should be done. The mere fact that Phil Murphy likes this woman, I'm completely against her. Now, I don't live in her district. Lucky her. Uh, but uh, I urge you not to vote for her. Um, and that's my two cents. I don't care who you vote for. Just don't vote for Democrats. They need to learn their lesson. They need to learn that this progressive woke BS has to go. And uh, you could not listen to me if you want, but read the Breathe Act, which is the latest fiasco, which I'll probably talk about in another video. The Breathe Act. Read about it. Tell me what you think about the progressives then and the squad.